What's get up? This is Linux Techs. When we are talking about the fastest and the most lightweight Linux distributions, Linux Mint Mate and Ubuntu Mate are the first two on the list. Well, I do know that there are a lot of LXDE and XFCE distros out there. But we are not talking about them as this is 2018 and you really don't need to be using them unless you are on some ancient machines. Mate desktop environment hits the sweet spot between being lightweight and fast while also being functional and visually aesthetic. Ubuntu and Linux Mint both provide a Mate variant and we will be comparing them side by side and in depth. And as you know, I will keep it short and on point. So for today, we have the Ubuntu 18.04 Mate LTS and the recently released Linux Mint 19 Mate, both of which are long-term support versions supported until 2023. Jumping in, let's begin with the user interface. Linux Mint Mate has the traditional Linux Mint look. A simple Mate setup with self-explanatory controls and the amazing brisk menu. This brisk menu is the best thing to happen to Mate desktop in the recent years. One panel on the bottom is where you control the whole computer form. This setup is really intuitive and is really easy to use. But the default theme is not really impressive and the fonts need some work. Ubuntu Mate on the other hand has got the whole artwork all right. A beautiful theme with colorful wallpapers just impress. And even the fonts look better on Ubuntu Mate. But I don't think the two panels are necessary. They are easy to customize so I suggest that you delete the top panel and move the menu and the indicators to the bottom panel. Ubuntu Mate is generally much more good looking than Linux Mint Mate. Linux Mint can really use a good default color scheme. Ubuntu Mate is the clear winner of the first round. Next, we will be having a look at the stability and the usability of the two operating systems. Now, both the operating systems have the very same base. Linux Mint Mate is based on Ubuntu Mate. They both will be supported till 2023. Well, speaking about stability, Linux Mint has always been conservative about updates. Providing a stable computing experience has been their prime aim. Personally, I have experienced stability issues on Ubuntu while Linux Mint has been smooth sailing always. Linux Mint provides an option to deter kernel updates and even encourages it. Maybe that's why it's just more stable. Anyway, I don't think one of the two distros is more stable than the other as they both are basically the same thing under the hood. They both are rock solid and dependable operating system as they both are built on the solid Ubuntu base. Both of the distros have the highest level of support from most of the software providers in the desktop Linux domain. So any software you need will always be available on both these distros in an easy to install manner. This round is a draw and both the distros get a point each. Let's talk about performance. Mate desktop is a really lightweight desktop with an idle RAM footprint of just 600 to 700 megabytes. This allows both the distros to be extremely responsive. Both these distros are visibly faster when you are comparing them to a distro running the GNOME desktop or KDE. Both the distros provide a rather similar performance. They both are an excellent choice to be installed on older hardware. Even if you have newer hardware and want to try out something that's built for speed, these two distros will impress you. Gaming has picked up on Linux and we have Steam to thank for that. Steam officially supports only Ubuntu and provides more than 1000 major titles for Linux. Now Steam and Steam games run fine on all the Linux distros, but if you are into hardcore gaming, why not stick with something that's officially supported by Steam? Ubuntu Mate is much better for gaming than the main Ubuntu as it is well known that Ubuntu Mate provides a performance boost in terms of FPS and smoothness when compared to the main Ubuntu. I have had screen tearing issues with Linux Mint Mate and Ubuntu Mate on my Nvidia card. This issue is persistent on a small number of Nvidia cards and it's easy to solve. The link to the workaround for that is provided in the description of this video. So if you are into gaming, Ubuntu Mate is the way to go. Ubuntu has one of the best documentation and any of the issues you might face are easily solved by following the beginner friendly guides on the Ask Ubuntu forums. Ubuntu has the best community support of all the Linux distros. And almost all the Ubuntu troubleshooting guides are applicable to Linux Mint Mate 2. So yeah, you can have peace of mind while installing any of these two distros knowing any help you might need is just a click away. Comparatively, Ubuntu Mate and Linux Mint Mate score similar marks with Ubuntu Mint Mate ahead by a few points. 
but it scores points in the areas where it matters. Linux Mint always has been conservative in nature. Personally, I appreciate that, but that is not an excuse to not improve. The default theming scheme has dark and unpleasant color schemes. The fonts compared to Ubuntu Mate look dull and milky. Ubuntu Mate on the other hand delivers crisp, sharp fonts. Linux Mint Mate fails mainly in the interface department. There is a room for improvements. I mean that's how you communicate with the computer. So the interface should be pretty high on your priority list if you are developing an operating system. Ubuntu Mate on the other hand is spot on. It'll make your machine blazing fast and it provides a great computing experience. Ubuntu Mate 18.04 clearly wins the best lightweight distro throne. Do give it a try. The download link is in the description of this video. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and your comments are always welcome. Well that's it for today. If you like this video then do hit the red subscribe button. This is Linux Tech signing out.